Okay, hi YouTube, this is President Michael back with another autograph mailer video. I know it's been a while since I last did a video. Uh, it's just that um, the videos are going to be very inconsistent for a while. I have, there's a lot of um, work and responsibilities that I'm, I'm doing right now under a lot of pressure. And I have a very small time frame to get a lot of this done. And I just have not had time to do uh, much in the way of um, doing any videos or much TTM. You know, uh, last month I probably sent out about 15 requests. Which is the most I sent out in a while. And I actually got a couple back. So I want to show you what I have. If I showed something double, I'm sorry. I just, the stuff I showed in my last video, I didn't put away yet. And it might have mixed up with what I'm going to show you now. Okay. All right. Just give, give me a second. This is really going to be disorganized. I should have did it sooner. But I have a whole stack of playbills to show you. Some of them TTM, some are uh, purchased. These are some of the ones I'm not sure if I actually showed or not, the, the purchase ones. But, um, worst comes to worst, you just see it a second time. Like I said, I have a whole bunch to show. And I know some of these I showed on my Facebook page. So you might, if you see them, you might see them there too. Show you the TTM ones first. I go on to the purchase. Like I said, I'm not sure if I showed you guys some of these. I think some of them I did. But if so, you'll see them again. All right, the first one is from Constellations. This Jake was a Gyllenhaal, which is a good one. He was actually in um, the day after tomorrow. That poster you see right there, which is pretty cool. Next one is Honeymoon in Vegas. Uh, one of the more prominent ones at Sinus is Tony Danza, which is right there. Unfortunately, he got smeared. Next one is You Can't Take It With You, and um, this one has James Earl Jones, wants a few other good ones. I wish I knew that um, he was in this play, but I actually sent him an autograph request to his production office last month. But uh, this is You Can't Take It With You. And James Earl Jones is uh, right there. Alright, here's the purchase ones. Like I said, I think I might have shown you a few of these, but I'll show them again. Uh, let's see, let me make sure. This is Meet the People. This is from March 30th, 1941. And the reason why I bought this one is signed by, um, oh, what's his, what's his name again? Jack, I think it's Jack Guilford. Uh, I mainly know him for being in the movie The Cocoon. Yeah, Jack Guilford. It's signed by him and one unknown one. I think the unknown one might be uh, Edward Elisco, who was a review editor. Page out in this one. Okay, this is a good one. I've been wanting this guy's autograph forever. He's not the easiest one to get, but this is the play Loose Ends. This is from, I think, from the 80s. Um, I'm not sure the year is, but I think it's from the 80s. And, uh, sign my Kevin Klein, which is cool. He's been in a lot of movies on uh, Wild Wild West, uh, Dave, on and on and on. I'd love to get his autograph on some presidential stuff since he played the president in Dave. Who sends? Uh, let's see, the next one, this is called 
I'm going to play applesauce. Of course, you see um, um, Laura McCall in here. Unfortunately, it's not signed by her. But the one that's signed by, who's autographed from another actor I've been wanting for quite a while, is Len, Len Carew. The next one, and I think this one might be from the 70s or 80s too. The next one here is from Dinner at 8. Uh, this is from September 27, 1966. And actually that applesauce one might be from the 60s too, because it's the same, um, uh, same model. But this is um, signed by Robert Burr, Root Ford, and Blanche Yurka, which is a pretty rare autograph, Blanche is. Alright, these were all purchases. This one's cool. This is a um, British playbill from the Duke of York's Theatre. It's for the play Public and Confidential, and it is signed by Constant Cummings. Alright, uh, this is Light Up the Sky. This one's also from um, the 40s, February 7, 1949. This is signed by Barry Nelson. Now, why is he especially important? Well, let me show you his autograph first. He was the first actor ever on TV to play James Bond. He, would appear, he appeared on him in a television series. So what's interesting, he's an American actor who played Bond, which all the others were British or, well, I think Connery is Scottish. But what's also special about this is, you know, Bond was supposed to be um, a British-born, British agent. Well, when Barry Nelson played him, he was an American agent. So he was an American agent being played by an American actor. I thought that was pretty interesting because a lot of people don't know that, that Bond was actually an American character before he became a British one. And it's the same one because um, that character was, um, for that series, it came from um, the one who created the Bond character, Ian Fleming, I think his name is. So it's the same character, which is pretty cool. But uh, this is him signing. When, when I seen it, this was signed by him, I definitely had to get it. And these old ones are cool. They have a lot of neat, neat looking old ads and everything. Okay, this is, um, let's see. Now he's not exactly this one. He's not exactly listed in here as an actor. So either he was watching it and someone seen him and recognized him, and got him signed, or he was a last minute replacement and they just didn't reprint the playbills. But this is signed by um, Eddie Albert. Um, he's been in a ton of stuff like Green Acres. He played the president in a movie that I really like with um, Christopher Plummer. And Dennis Quaid, they came out in like the early 80s. Great movie. But uh, he's been in other stuff too. Here's another autograph I won for a while. I wrote to him when he was alive, but I never heard back. And he passed away several years ago, but he had to have been close to 100. There it is, signed by him. This was listed as signed by someone else, but I recognized the signature and I grabbed it. This is another cool one. You know I can't hear you when the water's running. And it's signed by him inside. Another autograph I've been wanting for quite a long time. Just um and this is from Let me show you first who signed it. It's uh, Eddie Bracken. And this had to be close to the 60s too, maybe 70s. I'm not sure. Probably 70s. Not sure where the year is, but um, it's an older playbill, definitely. This is two gen uh, two gentlemen of Verona. This one is signed. 
And I'm, I tell you, I couldn't believe, and I would, I literally, and I'm going to say, I literally crap myself when I seen this. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. I had to get it. I wanted this guy's autograph, and I know I said this before, but I really definitely mean it this time, forever. Unfortunately, he passed away about 20 years ago, so I never got a chance to get it. Great actor. Always been a favorite of mine. The, this playbill is signed by Raul Julia. And you'll especially know him for playing Gomez Adams. Among other things, this is so freaking awesome. This is truly an awesome autograph. I've been wanting him forever. And when I saw this, I definitely had to get it. And I couldn't believe it. Because I never thought I'd get his autograph, or at least not for a while. Because being that uh, he was pretty famous, and he's passed away so many years ago, sometimes these autographs are pretty expensive. But I was able to get this for a very good price. Okay, this is, um, uh, well, it's, I call it a play bill, you know, it's listed as a show bill. This one is, uh, Virginia. It is signed by Kate Nelligan, Kenneth Walsh, and I think the other one might be Patricia Elliott. But I got it because it's signed by Kenneth Walsh. Pretty good Canadian actor. I see him in a ton of things. He actually played the president, well, he played the vice president. And at the very end, of the President of the United States and the day after tomorrow. I actually have some photos ready to go out to him. I'm going to try to get him. I don't know. He's not a super great signer. He played the President in another series that never ended up going on the channel. He was in um, the sequel to uh, Diary of the Dead. Uh, I've seen him in episodes of Stargate. And he's been in a lot of other stuff I've seen him in. But uh, that's why I, that's, those are the things I primarily know, know him from. And the last playbill, well, someone might argue with me and say not all these are actually playbills. True, they're, they're theater programs, but um, I just call all playbills anyways. So it's a lot easier. Okay. This is a bigger one. This is for um, Just Ask Me. It is signed by, and I'm probably going to put your name, but I know she is Celeste Holm. Front of it. And this is from October the 12th, 1976. And, uh, signed by right there, and it's personalized to, um, whoever originally got it. Let's see, oh, 12 minutes. We got a lot more stuff. I better start, uh, going faster. Okay, this is um, um, Charmaine James. Should have took these out of the envelopes. This is Phil Martelli. He's a head coach at St. Joseph University. And he sent an unsigned card. This is, oh shoot. Um, da, 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 I forget. I, I'm sorry, I forgot his name at the moment. I should have wrote these down, but uh, here it is. And I'll get back to you another time for what his name is. I hate, I hate, I hate showing autographs that I don't remember once in a while. Uh, just um, I'm bad with names sometimes, even even for people I like. And this is um, another person whose name I forgot at the moment. Trying to trying to show you there. This guy I got it before. I don't know why he sent it again. He must have thought he didn't respond. Author uh, Jerry Jenkins. Photo. Sign right there. And then. To 
two business cards. This is Lucinda Rue, ice skater, and it's signed uh, right there. And she said the other one signed right there. Fifteen. I'm gonna just, you know, step it up because um, my battery's gonna run out. Okay, this is from an actor by the name of Spencer Daniels. So the photo, which he signed right there. And um, wrote a note on the back. And then he sent a business card. So that one for last. Oh, uh, this is from an uh, author by the name of Lisa C. She sent an unsigned card because I got her autograph a while ago, but she usually, when she sends these, she usually signs the outside of the envelope. This is that last. I did a trade with Chad Duvall. He wanted one of those um, Daryl Evans signed cards I got in person of the 84 Donners. I'm assuming he put the set together. Well, I really want one of his Brian Denny. Um, TTMs he got a little bit before that. Denny isn't exactly the um, best of signers, so I definitely wanted to get it. Well, here's another autograph I wanted to get for a long time. Here it is. Okay, uh, kind of rushing through this. This is from a voice uh, actress by the name of Michelle Armanu. First, two business cards she signed in the back. Then she um, wrote me a nice letter. And then a signed photo. Then, along with the photo, letter, and business cards, she sent a notepad where you can do notes. And a nice. Um, Pen. Shoot, uh, battery's flashing. So if this goes out. If this goes out before I'm finished. I'll just um, do like a second letter or second video. I mean, yeah, I'll do that because I'm leaving the best TTMs for last. Uh, this is a purchase. They're autographing one for a while. I hope it's real. And I might already show this is from Tip O'Neill. He was um, a longtime uh, speaker of the House, He's a Democrat. Uh, this is from a letter, condolence letter, and the death of a friend of his from May 22nd, 1979. It came with the original envelope. Um, a couple years ago I got some book plates signed for Bill O'Reilly, which I think I already showed you, but I got a copy of one of his books. This is Factor Words. A collection of the Riley Factor's favorite word of the day. Like I said, this is lights flashing, so probably not gonna be able to finish it on this video over here. It's signed by him there. I'll try to get through these quickly. Uh, Dwyer Brown. This came back in probably a little over a week. He signed. Four, four by sixes that I sent him. He also sent a um, baseball card he had made up from his character from Field of Dreams. It's cool. And he wrote me a nice letter. Answer to my questions. Try to get through this. Now I'll just do another video. And I'm stoked that this guy signed all five. I probably printed out 15 pictures of his and I had a really hard time deciding what to send him. So now that I know he definitely signs and I heard of others getting him, I'm probably going to send him again. Because I love his acting. This is Tom Berenger. Here's a copy of the poster from Gettysburg. 
Picture of McGay Birds with Martin Sheen. Copy of Major League Two poster. Oh, this is cool. When he about to hit hit in the movie. Then another one from Major League. This is what made me a big fan of the um, Cleveland Indians with the, these two movies. And this guy took forever, but I'm happy he finally signed Martin Sheen. Send the other half of this, so I might um, send this to Tom Berenger. Copy the poster. Martin Sheen sign. Uh, for the miniseries he did of Kennedy. And since he played the President of the United States three different times, I had a copy of the White House. One last thing. I gotta look at this closer. I have not had a chance to. I'm not sure it might be a preprint. I got um personalized to me. Print on of George W. Bush. I'm not sure if it's real. I gotta look at it under the magnifying glass, but with presidents you never know. And then a um, generic signed letter from an assistant from um, his office. Uh, I think that's it. Before my banner runs out, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. I'm always happy to, any, happy to answer any questions. And I look forward to talking to you again soon. But it might be a while. It just I just don't have any time to put much into autograph collecting. It's just a lot of things going on. And I'm really behind in San Paolo packages. I owe a good friend of mine um, some autographs and a book, and I just had had not had time to mail it. And um, that person know who he is. I'm going to get to it hopefully within a couple weeks. But I just I'm just being really slammed with a lot of things right now. So that's why these videos are going to be probably pretty inconsistent for at least two or three months before I get uh, get back in the ball things. Okay, well that's pretty much it. Like I say, any comments, questions, put them below, and I look forward to talking to you again soon, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Bye. I uh, got one more thing I forgot to show you. This is signed by um, Jason uh, Bonsignori. He also sent two signed business cards. Signed a letter. And, uh, well... Uh, well, I have another one around here to show you, but uh, I don't know where I put it, but I wanted to show you this other one. So I'll just tack it on to the end of my uh, last autograph video I just filmed a few minutes ago. Thank you, YouTube. Bye.